Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube Famous Now, available in 2018, the album, Dad AF. And I had to take a break yesterday, y'all, and I'll tell you why, and if you don't watch my vlogs, I'm also gonna put up a story time on my Peterisms channel about it today. I got stung by a bee. No, I didn't get beat up down here in the Dominican Republic. I got stung by a bee, you guys, and it was so bad that yesterday, I just was like, I cannot do this today. I cannot make a video. My eye was like totally swollen. If you've seen the pictures, I put a picture out, I think on in uh, Instagram or Twitter, somewhere I put it out. But it was also on uh, my vlog from yesterday. So it's just been kind of crazy. It happened like literally right before I was leaving the beach. And it just kind of ruined all day yesterday for me. But... The drama is back. I am back on my feet and I am ready to report the drama. Now, I will tell you, first of all, I was going to make a drama about a drama. I was going to make a drama. I was going to make a drama video about Thomas Halper and this giveaway scam. Um, because there seems to be so much discussion recently about giveaways gone bad and all that kind of stuff and why people don't trust giveaways. And it's interesting because I recently did my very, very first giveaway ever um, on Instagram for Manny Mua's Life's Drag Palette. And going into that, honestly, and this should not be the case. I was terrified to do that giveaway. I mean, I asked all of my friends that do giveaways. I was like, what do you use? What is totally a random pick? I want to do this completely fair. I want to be, you know, completely transparent in the rules and all that kind of stuff. And um, I got a lot of good suggestions from people. But like literally every person that I talk to that does giveaways that never gets in trouble for it, what they said to me was just send the product and it's not a problem, right? Uh, why is that such a hard concept for us? So I might be doing that video if you guys want to hear my take on the whole giveaway, not just his, but giveaways in general and why I think that they're botched on YouTube. I'm more than willing to do that. I will say this, okay? I use this thing called Wheel of Names and I should have used a Google spreadsheet so that everybody else can put their names into it. I didn't, so it took me six hours to program those damn names into the wheel of names. I will never be doing that again. I will be using like a random comment picker, but um, I did the uh, giveaway. I had a winner and a runner up winner that will win a little gift. I reached out to both of them. Both of them are very excited about it. And I said, hey, listen, I'm going on vacation. I will mail it out as soon as I get back. And they were both okay with that. So if you uh, see my name in the headlines, you know I already contacted those two people. There's a lot of drama going on. You know, there's just a lot of, I would say, what's interesting about trying to figure out a video that you're gonna do for a drama video or drama channel is that there's a lot of misbehavior that goes on. And I think people sometimes wonder, like, how do we pick videos? And for me, I wanna pick videos that I'm interested in. So if I'm not interested in the drama that I'm talking about, my, this is total beach hair. It is my husband's birthday today, so could you guys go in the comment section and please wish him a happy birthday? Happy 34, feliz cumpleaños. So anyway, um, but you know, for me, if I'm gonna make a drama video, I wanna make a video that I'm really, really interested in. And so that's why I go to Reddit a lot of times, hey, girls over at Reddit, and um, I read through the comments, uh, read through the threads, and if I find something that I find is interesting, then that is what I'm gonna do my video about. I don't really care sometimes how popular it is or not. You know, even if it only has two comments on it, if it's something that interests me, that's what I'm gonna talk about. And that's where we're gonna get to today, because I'm gonna talk about Wayne Goss, uh, you know, teasing out the fact that he has a product coming out. And kind of, I reached out to Wayne, so we're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, but anyway, I wanted to uh, talk first about something that I saw over there on the Reddit because I thought this was very, very interesting. And I was thinking about making an entire video about this as well, so if you guys, if you have any interest in that, let me know because this was something that I found very interesting. Somebody put over there, over some beauty gurus, or is it just me? Anyone else not watching and ju over just some, Anyone else not watching and just over some gu gurus, gu gu gurus, gurus that you used to love? I find myself no longer watching Laura Lee or Manny as much. I don't know why. It just seems like they are not putting out anything I am interested in. I feel like after Shane's video with Bunny, I am more interested in seeing these people and what they are really like, not just quirky posts that teach me nothing new about makeup or new products. Am I the only one? Now, I told y'all, if y'all listen to me, okay, that the pendulum is switching. And I said the people that are relatable, the people that have stories, the people that are talking about their lives are going to be the people that are followed more on YouTube. And if you go through this thread, I'm not going to read all the comments on there, but what was interesting was 
that a lot of people said that these bigger beauty gurus are all money hungry. It's all about the sponsorships. It's all about the collabs. They don't really care about the collabs. They don't really care about the quality of what they're putting out there. It's just about money and that they don't put it out any interesting content or videos and that people want to hear the stories. And so those beauty influencers that are telling stories are going to be the ones that more people are watching, which is why I think it was very, very smart of Manny the other day to do the story with his dad. I think it's super smart, you know? And, um, I think that if you look at, you know, YouTube 10 years ago, it was a lot more of people just sitting around talking about their lives and things like that and sharing parts of who they were. And, you know, it's interesting when you look at that and where we're at today. And it's like really the videos that get the most hype, the videos that have like the craziest titles, the most clickbaity titles are the ones that get the most views. And I think that's sad because I think there are a lot of smaller YouTubers, not just beauty influencers, but YouTubers in general, that have a lot of really great things to say out there and are never really getting noticed and they're being raw and they're being authentic and nobody is really noticing them and they're not getting the push from YouTube inside because of the almighty dollar. And uh, we're gonna have to see what happens with the introduction of you know IGTV, Instagram TV just came live today. I've been over there watching some videos and we're going to see, is it going to be a replacement of YouTube and the same people are going to go back and forth? I'll be over there. I'll be putting some videos over there. So just get ready. Um, or is it going to be, you know, people showing real sides themselves, real part of their lives? Cause that's what I would like to see, you know? And I think that most people that watch drama are interested in drama, not just because it's dr gossip or drama, but because we're seeing inside the lives of these people. So you know, to some degree, if these YouTubers were, if these beauty influencers were showing those sides, maybe there wouldn't be a need for all of us to do that. But the Reddit thread that we're going to talk about today is the fact that Wayne Goss on Instagram tweeted this out. So I think it's time to give you all a little announcement. As some of you know from a recent video, I am in the process of launching new products. Believe me, this process hasn't been quick. And if you're reading this, it's now two years in the making and I'm still about six months away from completion. When I launched my makeup brushes five years ago, it was a dream. Now I'm working on something else. My brush line is entirely self-funded. There is no PR machine, no investors. I've never spent any money, I've never spent any money made from the brushes because I knew something else would come along but I had to wait because I wanted to self-fund any future ventures. I think that says a lot, honestly. That way I know I'm releasing products the way I want. Over the next few months, I will share the development process of what's coming. It's very exciting, scary, hard, and difficult. And most of all, rewarding. Something is coming and I really hope you love it. Hashtag something is coming. Hashtag Wayne Goss makeup. So I reached out to Wayne because Wayne and I have a really friendly, friendly relationship. He's always been really supportive of me and I think he's a wonderful guy. I think he's very, very transparent. Um, you know, and I kind of love his whole, I don't know, his take on it's It's different than what you see typically out there, you know? And I was going over to his YouTube. It's interesting because this video keeps on coming up and recommended for me and it's called stop doing your, stop doing your concealer this way or like this. And it got 1.8 million, I mean, that's a small country, Wayne, 1.8 million views, and that's fantastic. Now, I will tell you that five days ago, he tried to do, uh, do it again, and he did a video called Stop Doing Your Foundation Like This. It only got 255,000 views, but that's still great, right? And then today, did a, or yesterday, did a video called Watch This Fail Video Go From Bad To, Oh My God, Amazing, 71,000 views. And, you know, he has over three, 3 million subscribers. He's got a really strong foundation for a good YouTube channel. So let's go over here to the Reddit, and let's hear what y'all had to say about this. Wayne Goss makeup. I am so excited. Me too. His brushes are such a high quality. I have high hopes for his makeup. Um, I'm hoping he skips the easy money grab of eyeshadow palettes and does something like foundation. And I think that's a really good point, you know? In this whole industry where I feel like, you know, I don't even wear this makeup. I'm just buying it now to do for giveaways. <laughs> so, God, I hope I do them right. But anyway, um, you know, what's interesting is it's always a palette. It's always a palette. And I think that's because with the packaging and all of that kind of stuff, it can be really exciting. You know, you can show, I mean, how exciting is a foundation? Let's just be real, I mean, oh my God, look at the packaging on my foundation. I mean, it's just not really that exciting, you know? Lipsticks and lip glosses and things like that can be kind of exciting lip liners, but palettes, I think by and large are something that you can, you know, show a range of color. You can show the packaging, you can do all this kind of stuff. So it's like, ah, the Holy grail. But then it begs to ask this question, right? Are you just wanting to put out something for the hype or are you wanting to put something out 
that really has, you know, quality to it. That you really care about the people that follow you, the people that subscribe to you. That not just as a YouTuber, but as a makeup beauty influencer, you really care. Now let's think about that word. Beauty influencer, okay? That means you are influencing the beauty community. So if you really care about the beauty community and how you're influencing them, then the question would be, are you putting out a product that you think will influence the beauty community positively? That's really the question, right? So when you go in here and then you look back at his videos that he just did, okay? Being that this video that came out, uh, you know, two weeks ago, I think, uh, stop doing your concealer like this. Uh, and it means three minutes and 57 seconds, you guys. And it got 1.8 million views. Uh, maybe you should release a concealer or a foundation. I actually think that's a really smart move for him to release high quality, affordable. Because a lot of the threads, people in the threads in here said that the problem with the brushes, even though they were so fantastic, was that they were too high end. They were too expensive. They were un not affordable for people. And so I think what people are really, really wanting to see from the beauty influencers that they trust is that they want to see high end quality makeup that's affordable, right? And when I was going in the thread talking about like the beauty influencers that people are over and all this kind of stuff, one of the people that was consistent, consistently on there that people liked was Tati. They said, you know, that Tati uses, uh, what do you call it? Uh, drugstore makeup and she believes in it and things like that. Well, that says a lot, right? Because that's what people can afford. It's not just a clickbait. I did a whole face, you know, using Elf Cosmetics or I did a full face using Walmart makeup. I mean, it is not just a clickbait title. It's reality, right? Which is, I think, what people want to see. How can I get these looks that you are using, using products that are affordable? Therefore, if you release products that are of quality and you show us the process, that's the next part I'm going to get into, okay? And you show us the process and why we should buy into it, what's the story behind your products, then we're more than likely going to buy your products, okay? Because A, we believe in you. B, you're releasing quality products and C, they're affordable. And affordable doesn't have to be cheap. I think sometimes we, you know, misconstrue what affordable means. I think sometimes we think affordable means a dollar lipstick. That's it's not the case. Affordable means that most people can go in and afford to buy it without breaking, baking, <laughs> it's been a long trip, without breaking their bank account. You know what I'm saying? Like that you can go in there and it's not like you're sitting there. I mean, my husband wanted this mask. Okay. So I went into Sephora. It was like that Peter Roth, Hoffman, Joffman, Judy Smith, Johnson. I don't know that Peter, you know what? It was $58 for this mask. And I was like, that, that is one expensive mask. No, I didn't buy it. He don't need no mask like that. So anyway, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it. I'm thinking to myself, but as I'm looking in Sephora, this is not affordable, okay? But I'm looking for an upscale lip, uh, you know, chapstick lip balm at the same time. Let me just tell you something. In the lip scrubs, I went and I bought a $6 honey lip scrub from Sephora. And I bought a $6 uh, almond lip balm from Sephora. And they're probably two of my favorite things that I bought in the last two months as far as lip products, period. I mean, they really are, you know? And a lot of people want to come from Jeffrey's. My leg is totally asleep. Do you not hate that when you're making a video on the floor of your hotel room and your foot falls asleep? I mean, God, <laughs> the shit of life, isn't it? But anyway, uh, you know, like I have to say, like that's one of the reasons why I stand behind Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I don't even wear his makeup because those lip scrubs do not play, okay? I brought it on vacation with me, that lemon cookie, and I was like, I love this lip scrub. This is so, it is so fancy, but affordable. $12 for a lip scrub is not expensive when you go in these other stores. So it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to release. Now, he hasn't gotten back to me. I may make a follow-up video. If he does, we'll see what he says. But I may make a follow-up video and say, oh, he gave me an exclusive statement. Because I don't ever say that in my videos. I don't say exclusive statement unless they've given me an exclusive statement. But I said to him, I said, hey, Juan. <laughs> Juan. I've been around my family too much lately. Okay. Hey, Juan, my brother-in-law. Um... But I said, hey, Wayne, I said, I know you're busy. I'm sorry to bother you. I just want to know if you wanted to give me any insider information about your release. And she teased it out. Oh, by the way, would you be willing to show your process on video? Because I think that would be really interesting to your subscribers. And I do, you know. None of these beauty influencers do this. None of these beauty influencers show us a month by month what it takes to go and buy their products. Or what it takes to, you know, come up with their products. The meetings that they go into. And I know a lot of that they can't show. But are you telling me that they couldn't show us walking? 
walking through the Morphe warehouse or walking through the, you know, I mean, and some of them have, but very minimally, or showing us how they picked out the cover. You know, like Manny's showing us how he picked out the eyes or the hologram effect on that. I would be interested in that. I would be interested to see that process. And if they allowed us into the story and you go back to what this other Reddit thread said about Bunny Meyer and Shane, uh, uh, Shane Dawson, that we want to hear the story. We want to hear more genuine this authenticity coming from people then we're getting to see the process with you we're getting to enjoy the process with you as you're making the product not just you putting out and going this is a fan well how'd the fan get there see in your hand how did it get there and we're supposed to believe that you didn't have a team of people that just came up with this all and you go this color this color this color see I, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing all of this that now, I do believe with people like Jeffrey that have like their own, you know, their own factories and things like that, that they really are doing it, honestly. And I think there's a lot of makeup people out there that are, but there's a lot of them that I'm starting to wonder, are you just picking the colors and saying, I like this color more than I like that color, go with that? Show us the process. And I think that takes it one step further. You know, in a world where we're obsessed with reality TV, take us behind the scenes. Show us the reality of what it's like to make a makeup brand or product or put that out there in the world. I mean, I don't wear this stuff, but it would be very interesting to see what goes into making a concealer or a foundation. I would find that interesting and in how you pick certain shades. The shade range of all of this stuff, these, you know, palettes is a huge issue. Well, how do you pick those shades? What goes into that? How do you test certain groups to know what shades you should use? If maybe you showed that to us, and maybe you explained what went into the decision-making process behind all of that, we'd be willing to buy into it a little bit more. But I am excited to see what Wayne comes out with, because I can tell you this, I know it will be of quality, and I know that it will be high-end, because I think that is what Wayne Goss stands for. And that's a lot to be said in our community of beauty influencers and the drama and all that kind of stuff is, what do you stand for? Because if this is what you stand for, if you're high class or if you're drama, your products are going to be closely aligned with that as well. And that's where your reputation really does matter. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Would you be interested in seeing the process of what goes on to build these products and make these products come to the point where they're available for us? I would be super in interested in that. So anyway, I love you guys and boost. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.